and emotions run high at an Amelia County School Board meeting just about 48 hours before students head back into the classroom. I think we're going to see this more and more at many school board meetings, but more members there voting to require masks in school for everyone vaccinated or not. And that drew an overwhelmingly negative response from the Amelia crowd. Kelly Avellino followed the tense moments. Kelly, tell us more about what happened. Well, they were passionate and certainly vocal to say the least. The vast majority of parents and even students speaking out saying they do not want this universal mask mandate. Parents and again, some current high school students, mostly upperclassmen like juniors and seniors, saying that uh, they did not want to be used as political pawns and that other people's beliefs were being thrust upon them. This all comes, as we know, after Governor Northam switched course last week, saying a recently passed state law now requires schools to follow the CDC guidelines. The CDC also amending things, saying in light of the recent Delta variant, they want all schools to wear masks, whether the person is vaccinated or not. Again, Governor Northam saying, well, school districts have to follow that or face legal consequences. Parents in Amelia were just not having it. It doesn't make sense, and I'm tired of my kids being punished and used as pawns for a virus that doesn't even affect kids. I will close in asking, which I'm sure you won't answer, since the CDC recommends that all kids get vaccinated, are you going to force that on them too? The school board responding that even though they don't like the law, they say they don't like being forced to follow it. They say they did not want to put Amelia schools at substantial legal and financial risk if they didn't follow that mandate. Now, Amelia is in a high COVID trans, uh, transmission zone, which means it's red on that CDC map that we've been showing you. Most of the counties in Central Virginia are red as well. Last year, we can tell you that 30% of Amelia's school staff and about 22% of students did have to quarantine at some point. On your side, I'm Kelly Avellino.